and welcome back to the simple channel now this time i think we will have a talk with allison conway let me continue so allison conway goes to prep school now mr bedford is a generous fellow probably helps that allison gave birth to his grandson Here's one case where being a teenage mother moves you up the social scale. Detective Briscoe, Detective Curtis. Nice to see you too. I guess this is about Tag Vanderhook. News travels fast. We'd like to ask you a few questions. You know, there's another murder that's still unsolved. Right. We're investigating whether there might be a connection. There might be a connection, I think. Where were you at six o'clock this morning? Six o'clock? I was at home. Home is still in Brooklyn? No, I live with the Bedfords now, ever since Brendan was born. I thought you knew that. Memory's the first thing to go. Can anyone confirm your whereabouts? Sure, the whole household was up at six. Brendan was throwing one of his famous tantrums. <laughs> He's got a scream that could shatter glass. Yes, it can be corroborated. He said that the whole household was up at six. Brendan was throwing one of his famous stand groups. Uh -huh. He's got a screen that could shatter glass. Hmm. Yep, they can ask the whole household. I tried to sneak canned baby food onto its plate and he caught on. So I have to go down to the kitchen and mix him up a fresh batch in the blender. Kid's got discriminating tastes. He's a Bedford. <laughs> He's a Bedford. <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about baby food here. Did you know the victim? Tag? Sure. I mean, a little. This is a small school. It's hard not to know everybody a little. And Tag wasn't the type to blend into the woodwork. How long have you known him? Since September, I guess. Since September, I guess. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well. <laughs> I think the right answer is yes, but almost exactly a year ago. Since the same year, that's why he at the start of the school year, sponsored by Mr. Bedford. Said Alison transferred to a new room after the prep at the start of the school year. 
Yeah, the start of the school year is September. Around September, I think. What do you think of him? Everyone kowtowed to Tag because of his mom's money. He liked to brag about his conquests in class, and the teachers were too spineless to shut him up. I kept my distance. So you weren't uh, one of his conquests? God, no. Ugh, as if. <laughs> Franklin Bedford's supposed to be in gym right now but we didn't see him on the basketball court. He's off with the golf team at the Chelsea Piers driving range. They've got a big tournament coming up and the coach has them all practicing their swings. What? Check with Mr. Tate if you don't believe me. Yeah. He's off with the golf team at the Chelsea Piers driving range. He got, yeah, how so? All things got entered on yeah. Frankly's absent solution out as a source. Like how can you be sure? It's not the right idea. Golf on a day like this. It's been pouring all morning. The driving range is covered now. Must have happened after they revoked your membership. Uh oh. Brandon, baby for Tyson's medal. Franklin's alibi. I think so. You live in the same house as Franklin. Was he there at six? Sure, I assume. You didn't see him? No, I mean, he would have still been asleep at that hour. Is this consistent with a real testimony? Alison testified that her screaming baby had everybody up at six. Oh yeah. You told us nobody could sleep on account of your baby. Nobody except Franklin, I meant. That kid could sleep through anything. Did you actually see Franklin this morning? No. No. Something peculiar about this murder. Tag had a medal shoved in his mouth. Harrison's medal, right? How do these things get out? It's a high school detective. So, who do you think put it in there? Harrison's ghost? Would he have reason to? Did he have something against Tag? When me and Harrison were together, we didn't waste time talking about Tad Vanderhook, okay? But he did stick up for me once when Tag was a real ass. Alice and Propius we said she doesn't do it in <laughs> Yeah, that's true, but that's not the right answer for the question. Alice and Dave did fact before she took up with Alice. <laughs> Double day. I thought you first met Tag this past September. Um, yeah. Not counting that house party last spring. Tell us about that house party. Harrison wanted to introduce me to his prep school friends. Tag wasn't invited, but he showed up anyway. About midnight. He got in my face and called me Harrison's little Brooklyn bitch. Harrison got him in a headlock and made him apologize. 
totally humiliated him. <laughs> it was awesome. And that was the end of it? Tag ran off with his tail between his legs? I don't really remember how it ended, to be honest. I was pretty wasted at the time. I passed out not too long afterwards. You passed out? Oh. Tag insults you. Harrison attacks Tag. And later, Harrison is dead. I guess people must have pointed fingers. At Tag? Like I said, I hardly knew him. When you guys ruled him out as a suspect, I never gave him another thought. What about the people who did know him? I guess a lot of the kids around here kept on thinking he might have been involved. Did Tag do anything to dispel their suspicions? Tag was a bully. I think he liked having people think he was a killer, especially the younger kids. Kids like Franklin. Thanks, Allison. We'll be in touch. Is he the one, was he the one who killed Tag? You think our boy Franklin is the killer? Pieces seem to fit. So, if he entered the golf team code to get back into the weight room after the murder, who entered the first code? The mystery code? Well, could have been Tag himself. His weight room privileges were revoked when he got kicked off the wrestling team, but his mom said he was good at getting around the rules. So then Tag let Franklin in. Not realizing the kid had a gun and meant business. It's a good theory. Not enough evidence for an arrest. Not yet. Come on, let's find some. Can't you just talk to him when he gets back from the driving range? We intend to do that. But in the meantime, we need to take a look in his locker. Oh, you can't do that without a warrant. No, but you can. New Jersey versus TLO. Back in 85, Supreme Court decided school administrators have the right to search lockers, provided they have just cause for suspicion. You've done your homework, Detective. I'm impressed. Still, I don't know. Franklin Bedford's always been a well-behaved student. No alibi, golf court, and more things. Hmm. We think Franklin blamed Tag for his brother's death. Oh dear. I'm not unaware of the rumors that have been circulating around the school. Revenge is a powerful motivator, Mrs. Borsma. I suppose I should open that locker for you. Here it is, number 224. What exactly are you expecting to find? We'll know it when we see it. Bingo. Oh. See you at lunch, Tyler. Franklin Bedford, where were you this morning at six? Um, why? What's this about? Little matter of a murder weapon we found in your locker. Care to explain? Uh... Book him. You are under arrest for the murder of Tag Vanderhoek. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to a lawyer. No confession yet? <sighs> Not a word. They must teach counter-interrogation at that fancy prep school. Time to turn up the pressure. Good cop, bad cop? Mm-hmm. He's only 15. He's not too old to cry. You get him there, then I'll turn on the compassion and bring him home. I'm sick of waiting for a confession from this punk. We got the weapon, we got the motive. At this point, he's just wasting our time. Go easy, detective. Come on, Franklin. Come clean. It'll be a lot easier for everybody if you do. My client maintains he's innocent. Give me a break. Give me a break. We already know you were out of the house before six. So if you weren't busy drilling holes in Tag Vanderhoek, where the hell were you? My client prefers not to disclose this information this time. Need a little more time to cook up an alibi? Uh, don't rush on our account. Daddy's not gonna make this one go away, kid. We're staying here till we get the truth. Do you remember the strategy for boxing, boxing con confrontation out of Franklin? Uh, good. <laughs> good. What's the strategy? 
X uh, where, 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 where? Ah You get him there then other earth the, on the compassion and bring him home Turn off the pressure Get him to the breaking point then bring him home Yeah, I think that's the right one Put him off this guard and hammer him No Break him through enhanced interrogation techniques The last answer is the right one. Okay, I want to know about good cup or bad cup. She said to turn up the pressure, then. Break, bring her home. Okay, so I think bad cup actually. Yeah, I think she'll be bad cup first. You hated Tag, didn't you? Of course you did. Harrison didn't like him a bit, and you wanted to be just like Harrison. Don't talk about my brother. Franklin, it's okay. Ouch. <laughs> Good cup, bad cup. Oh. Still. Sure, Harrison was your hero. Great athlete, big man on campus, the perfect older brother. But the hero died, and his enemy went on living. It must have burned you up every time you saw Tag's smirking face in the hall. Knowing how he got away with murder. Shut up, shut, shut up! You don't know what really happened. Don't take the bait. You're getting under his skin. <laughs> Uh, still, I should. I should still choose bad cop. But do you really think that Brian Queen is the killer? Everybody knew Tag killed your brother, but nobody could touch him. There he was. Walking around free, laughing about Harrison, telling everybody what a loser Harrison was. Lies, it was all lies! He was a damn liar, and so are you! He deserved it. He deserved what he got. Franklin, watch yourself. Ah, he's cracking. Yep. He's cracking. He's already enough. He's cracking. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you had every right to be outraged. And you had access to a gun? My dad's safe. I, I found the combination. So you stashed it in your locker, and when the opportunity presented itself... But I didn't. I wanted to, I admit it. I brought the gun to school, but then everybody started whispering, and I couldn't go through with it. I wasn't the one who shot Tag, I swear! Then who did? I don't know. Close enough to a confession for me. Yep, I think that's all for now. We will go to the trial, but I still don't need Queen Queen to heal her. Yeah, let, let me say. He took the gun from his father's safe. He brought it to the school, but he said that he couldn't get through it, so he didn't put, he, uh, he may not put a gun in his, in his locker. Ah. We still have to figure it out. But I think we should end this for now. Thank you for watching and see you later at the trial.